Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. And together with Daryl Mandel and uh, Ganem Hanna, we'll give you an overview for you of what happened uh, at the studios of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network in the past week and what's going to happen in the coming weeks uh, just to update you. A lot of news, and so let's get started with the verse of the day, which Ganem has. What verse did you choose for us, Ganem? Marlon, today our reading will be from Revelation 3.11, and it says, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take your crown. Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, there's a lot of stuff in that verse. You know, it's a, it's a warning. It's a promise. And it gives the instructions on how to benefit from the promise. So just read the, the first part again, the, the warning part. All right, let me get back to my phone. It says, I am coming soon. Mm. That's the greatest promise right there. Yeah, that's, a really, that's the promise that really counts, right? But also, <laughs> a reminder and a warning be prepared, because I am coming soon. Yeah, well, that's, that's another one. Or you could warning. miss the opportunity, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mean you guys, but I mean just in general. Hold on to what you have. Right. So that no one will take your crown. There's a reference in there to um, the culture of the time, and Paul, uh, Paul and various others, especially associated with the Roman and Greek cultures, it was a sports-related culture back then. Um, now we would say, so no one takes your medal. Mm. They had a laurel crown. The winners had a laurel crown mm. of uh, sports events. Right. And, um, you know, so hold on to what you have. With. Yeah, mm. it's... But the warning is the threat that somebody's going to take that medal. Right. You know, and so if we don't guard, you know, the the word that we have absorbed and don't let the world uh, twist it, you know, to mean somewhere and something else, you know, then you can you can keep that crown yeah. as a crown of life, you know. But if you're careless, you know, you'll be led away because what are we? We're sheep. We're sheep. Yeah. Get off the course running that right. race. So follow the little rabbit trails it's and get off the course. It's talking about deception. Mm -hmm. That's the only way someone can steal your crown is if they deceive you. And it's so rampant these days. Everything we, that, that well, I shouldn't say everything, but a lot of things that we are, think are spiritual and sacred are really, you know, from the enemy to deceive us, to take our crown away. But there's a great promise. What what follows that? But you got to know the word of God in order not to be deceived. Well, I think that's. Well, you got to know the truth. That's the the essence of. All right, and uh, it says, "Him who overcomes." I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Hmm. And it continues on, never again will he leave it. So I, I see a free gift of eternal life, but we have a responsibility to do our part. Well, right. same as we got to feed ourselves, we got to dress ourselves, we got to hang on to our faith. Yeah. We have to work for our faith and our salvation. Yeah, yeah we have to be overcomers. You know, that means we have to overcome the sin in our life. Can we do it our alo alone? No. You know, Jesus promises to do it for us. He's already done it for us, essentially. So we have to learn to lean on him so that no one t escapes with our crown, deceives us out of our crown, that we may have the eternal life, the reward. You know, if we do a part, he promises to do his part. And you're right. It's a, it's a really beautiful passage. Yes. Anything else to add, uh, Daryl? No, I, I think you pretty much said it. It's a, a, a matter of overcoming. It's a matter of staying on the course and finishing the race. I think it was, uh, um, who was it said? It was uh, John said that, uh, you know, I've, I've fought a good fight. Oh, it was Paul. Yeah, it was Paul. I've finished uh, the course, and there's a, a crown laid out. Yeah, at it. the end of his life, just before the Execute yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> well, but no one escapes death. No one escapes death. Not on this earth. One no. form or another. The, the Lord himself died mm -hmm. to show us and to, to demonstrate to us that death will take you, but Jesus will resurrect you. Through him will be possible. Without yeah. him, 
It'll be that permanent death. Sin equals death. Yep. Jesus equals life. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's one or the other. It's no middle ground. On that note, may I bring something Please. up here to our viewers? I think all of our viewers who followed us for the last 21 years have also followed a program called Searching for Answers, where our beloved dear friend, Carolyn Thompson, hosted that program. Unfortunately, she went to her rest uh, earlier last week. Mm. We'll miss her dearly. Uh, Searching for Answer, it's a program that she produced, she initiated, and she stuck with for many, many years, almost 18 years, nonstop. Whether she was sick, whether she was tired, whether she was traveling, she made sure when that week comes in for taping, she put all things aside to bring all those wonderful scholars and theologians from Loma Linda last year, put them around the table with her, and search for answers. Mm -hmm. She has truly dedicated herself for the work of the Lord. Marlon, you've known her over the years. We, those, those of us who worked in the Albion as volunteers, and she was a volunteer herself, uh, Carolyn Thompson was the mother type, the sister at times, the friend you needed, someone who always looking out for her friends. Uh, you talk about someone fought a good fight. Carolyn Thompson had fought a good fight to share the good news of Jesus. She worked hard and believed in the word of Jesus and worked hard to make sure the word of Jesus is shared through LLV. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's a, a rare uh, individual in that uh, you know, you, you, we've all heard the, the phrase, you know, don't, don't listen to what they say, you know, watch what they do. Right. And that, that is the essence of, of Carolyn. You know, she, uh, she supported this ministry by becoming personally involved. I was uh, just trying to think, you were talking about searching for answers, and I was just trying to think about uh, over the last 20, 21, 22 years, how many programs that she d did, and she did like 40 episodes a year. It, we're talking oh, close to a thousand hours mm -hmm. of programming Phenomenal. turned out by this one little lady that had no background in broadcasting, no training as a preacher or a pastor. Uh, you know, well, she, wouldn't you say that's where the Holy Spirit drive? The believers? Oh, yeah, but see, this is more than, than just the Holy Spirit dri driving Carolyn because Carolyn did what, what you actually read, read. She overcame the challenges of not you know, being able to be a broadcaster for Jesus. She mm -hmm. overcame that, and she was a broadcaster for Jesus. Yep. You know, for you know, 20 years. I mean, she she was here before I was yep. uh, in in the uh, foundation building of of this ministry. So uh, she was not afraid to lay it on the line. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. She had a tenacious spirit that just wouldn't give up. Well, you know. it was her conviction in Jesus that drove her. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we asked Elder Roberts during the. You were there uh, during the gravesite uh, service, and we were talking about the word broadcast, and how did he describe mm. that? Well, that's the, you know, broadcasting is, uh, Daryl probably could tell, tell you better, uh, but it's a term first surfaced in the Bible, and the broadcaster was the guy that broadcasted seed. He was a farmer. He flung the seed, and that's broadcasting. And of course, that led to the parable that Jesus shared with us uh, about uh, where the seed falls on the, on the fertile ground, and the rocky ground, and the, and, uh, the just rocks, you know. Uh, so uh, that's the, the mission of, of uh, Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Well, and that's, that's what, what Carol believed in. Exactly. Yeah, that's what, and what her you mentioned was. her conviction in mm -hmm. Jesus. Right. And, uh, you know, one of the things I loved about Carolyn was she, was she had strong conviction. At the same time, she was always searching for more answers. That's At true. the beginning of every show, 
she pretty much every show she always started with, well, here we are again, and we're still searching for answers. In other words, we don't know it all yet. We're still looking for more. She had a, this tenacious spirit to find more, to dig it out. Right, right. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the interesting thing, we all know that, all believers in Christ know that, although we'll miss Carolyn and many like her who we love and dear to our hearts who went to rest, mm -hmm. but when we'll meet again in God's kingdom, they'll all be brand new in body, in spirit, and we'll have so much to talk about, and we have so much probably to tell the heavenly beings of the battle we had on this earth. Meanwhile, her legacy continues here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network through searching for answers. It's mm -hmm. now headed up by uh, uh, John Jones, Jones. That's correct. and uh, he's got this, the same panel of experts. And so her spirit lives on uh, in that program. Uh, you know, we know that, that she's just waiting to, for that second resurrection to uh, join us all on, on the air, and this is not that far away. So, Carol, Carol we thank you for your commitment and, uh, and your dedication to Jesus Christ and uh, spreading his ministry. And thank you for being our friend here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. And for being a role model to a lot of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Role model. Well, we've uh, just about used all our time, so uh, let's uh, talk about well the building. We haven't talked about the building yes, sir. In, uh, in a few weeks. Uh, you've been gone. and You've been gone? And so we're all yeah. here together. What's the status of right, the Right, but it doesn't mean the building project on hold. Yeah. You know, the building project, like many other projects, we have dozens of projects running in parallel and simultaneously. Yeah. Continues every day. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like driving on the freeway and you got six lane highway, you're keeping an eye on the road and you know there are six lanes and they all you know, reach their destination sooner or later. So is our projects because we are convicted by the Spirit of Jesus to work hard to build for his kingdom on this earth by developing our ministry and for throwing the seeds around, Marlon, to plant the word of God throughout, throughout our planet. And glad to say that LVN is reaching over 146 countries and our needs today from techno technology-wise, studio space, uh, workers' space, has, has way, way, way uh, under meet our requirements and our needs. So this building, uh, it, is, it is our pathway, it's our conviction. We are on a journey, on a journey to the New Jerusalem, and this building will be part of that journey. Although, when the New Jerusalem, when Jesus come and bring the New Jerusalem on earth, this building will be nothing. It will be just worthless at that time. But until that time, it will be the building, the dwelling that will house the ministry of LLBN to continue the effectiveness of this ministry throughout the world. We're, Marlon, we're on fire. We want to make this happen. We want to expand our programs. We do want to deliver the word of Jesus from the and cover the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament, teaching every viewer the foundation of Jesus, the foundation of, our, of his kingdom. And uh, we plead to you folks, our friends who supported us for 21 years, and those of you who have not been able to give, we respectfully and kindly ask you then in the name, in the, in the name of our Lord Jesus that you be part of this journey to the New Jerusalem, not just for you and us, but to bring in masses with us to his kingdom, and it's going to help LLBN to have this building to move forward in continuing the work of spreading the good news of Jesus. $400,000 to complete everything. Where We have most of the money on hand, $400,000, send your gifts and money. All those who made gifts to the building, their names will be posted on the building in one shape or another. <laughs> Not to boast, Marlon, about their giving, but to show that it took this family, the partnership of so many, to build this building for God's kingdom. Well, thanks for the update. And we'll have more as the days and weeks uh, continue. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Week in Review. We'll see you next time.